here. Uh, watching these kids uh, come around after four or five years of playing games and uh, seasons and uh, starting all the practice in their kindergarten, first grade. Um, it was truly an honor to be on the team this year. Uh, I want to, before we talk any more about the team, I want to bring something up because I think it's, it's it, it demonstrates what uh, the program means for this uh, community. Um, if you haven't heard or, or seen, or hopefully in the future you'll get a chance, you've heard about Unified Basketball. The school district runs um, a program at the elementary level, and they're, starting, they're moving it into the uh, middle school, and I think maybe even the high school. Um, the reason I bring it up is because I think this community, this group, this program is what you know, develops the passion for, for, for basketball. And without Coach D'Amico uh, and this program, uh, it would be a totally different landscape here. Um, and the reason I bring up Unified Basketball is because the Unified Basketball is um, a program where kids with special needs team up with um, our student athletes to form teams um, of uh, uh, multiple teams where they actually have a buddy. And there's players in here that have participated um, but before I, I want to ask them to stand up and get so they can be recognized for it. But I, it's it's a program that was done at the elementary school. I got I was fortunate enough to witness it there uh, this past um, winter. They had it at uh, Calkins at the middle school. It was truly for any of the parents that were there, and I know there's some here. It was truly a fantastic event. Uh, it pretty much filled Calkins gym. Um, and again, you don't have to know basketball to be part of that program. But again, the passion, uh, the game was phenomenal. And I think Sydney Gordon would, would admit to uh, how, the, how it all ended. She could talk about that. But uh, uh, I just want to say that thanks to Don, thanks to this program, thanks to the coaches and, and the volunteers and the coaches. And as I, you know, as I think back, you know, eight years now, um, you know, the, 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 the uh, folks that I've had a chance to, to, to sit on the bench with uh, that allowed me to participate on their teams. Uh, Coach Wilcox did it this year, and I appreciate that. And there's, you know, there's Rusty, there's Coach Keneally um, that have let me participate, and I, I truly in, in, enjoyed that experience. Um, I want to ask those that have, did participate, have participated, to just stand up. These are some of our CYP athletes that uh, have participated. I can't, you know, I, I, I can't explain enough to see the kids' faces when they're at this event. It's totally fantastic. And again, I know that this program has a lot to do with that. Um, I, I, with that said, I'll, I'll, I'll Coach Wilcox, I'm, I'm going to take a little bit longer here, so, so bear with me, but this is, I think it's a big day uh, for these kids, for these, these young men up here that have um, worked hard all season. You know, me being here right now really kind of shows what this team was about. It was always about, you know, who's next, who can step up. We had many times, as you see, we have eight up here today. Uh, one of our players got in a, a pretty serious accident during the season, and he's fine now, but uh, it took him out for the whole season. These guys played a lot of games. Um, you know, down there were there were tournaments, there were games. You know, where we played six. Um, there were games where some of these kids were asked to play in another game because you know they had seven. It's like, well, we have six, so I think we'll, we'll have to take. Thank you, but we'll have to take a pass. Um, these guys, you know, when we hit those times, it was everybody would step up. We had a tournament um, where we had six missing. Or we had six. We had six. We needed, we needed some three-point scoring. We got that from Jimmy and Daniel. Um, we had constant leadership on this team the whole season. So it, it's just, it, it, this is just another example of how, how we worked. We had a tournament where we went 0-4. We came back the next tournament with 4-0. So it's just an, an example uh, of how this team played throughout the entire season. So some words here from uh, Coach Wilcox. And he, he talks about the players here. And I was reading it on the way over, and uh, 
and uh, I couldn't agree with him more. From Coach Eric Wilcox. Thanks to Don D'Amico for giving our kids this great opportunity to play basketball in a safe and caring environment. To the eighth grade parents for being so supportive to the kids and the coaches, and for raising these kids to be such smart, caring, and hardworking kids. Chris Hennessy for keeping our book all season, Caleb Arena for being the team manager, and uh, myself for helping out coach. I, we also had uh, various clocks, Jim Denzak, uh, Sam Marina, Jim Hennessy, you know, and other parents helped throughout the season. Uh, the Johnsons for having our, uh, our, uh, our, our, film, our film sessions, which uh, turned out to be more of a team building effort, but at least we did have one, a game up while we were watching while we were there. But, uh, but it was just going on how the team and how the team, uh, they worked, they were a great group of young men that, that, that you know, were respectful of each other throughout the season. Uh, overall, this has been a season of achievements and growth, both as a team as, and on the individual level. It is the first season that players were allowed to play both their school and their CYP, meaning most kids play 50 games, 50 CYP games, and another 10 to 20 uh, and for their schools. Uh, some of these kids up here had 65 games, even in the seventh, seventh grade level, some of those boys did, did the same thing. Um, truly phenomenal. Their, their passion, their desire to want to continue to play, simply awesome. Um, yet for the most part, these kids were able to maintain their enthusiasm and their interest throughout the, 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 this marathon season. As a team, we had to deal with adversity, both as players and teammates, losing five different players for stretches throughout the season. Kids stepped up and played well and were able to finish with over 35 wins, I'm correcting some of this, and, uh, and, and three tournaments. Um, and it's not about the wins, it's just how these kids competed um, throughout the season. Like I said, we had one bad tournament, uh, these kids turned it around and they did that the whole, the whole season long. Um, and now a little bit about our players uh, and how they meant, what it meant to our team and their, and their areas of growth. Nick Denzak, step forward, Nick. Uh, a consistent presence for practice and games, missed very little at, at all season long, has a high potential as a tough defender. We waited to see what we knew he was capable of. The last tournament started all the games and shot really high percentage and played really tough defense. Best games of the season, Came when we needed him the most. Daniel Johnson, AKA Brooklyn, <laughs> was a self appointed three point specialist. Rarely ventured inside the arc, great sense of humor, and was part of the glue that held the team together. Film sessions at, at his house this season turned out to be a little more than a gluttony of, of Doritos. Mom's doing laughter which left very little room for actual film review, but the kids deserved it. Uh, best basketball moment for Daniel. Moment is tough. He, uh, he had uh, so many great moments. It may, uh, it may have been the Baldwinsville game where he was substituted in the game with nine seconds left and drained a three-pointer three to put us into overtime. Uh, but his best game was second to last game of the season, down, down three starters. Daniel played extended minutes made two huge three-pointers, and played tough defense in an unexpected win against South, South Town Select. There were two tournaments where we really relied on our role players, our bench players, to really pull us and get us through those tournaments. And we won both of those tournaments. And, and Daniel was a, was a part of that. Tommy Birmingham. Uh, Tommy had the worst luck of any player. Here's the, the, the unfortunate, uh, he got injured. Uh, he went from one injury to the, to the accident. Uh, really look forward to seeing Tommy play in the future. He's a great athlete, and uh, he participated, came to our games. So we wish him the best, and we look forward to seeing him playing tremendous. Kyle Hennessy, step forward, Kyle. Kyle became our lockdown defender once Tommy was injured. He was asked to do more than most of our team. He played point when Ben was uh, injured, or and playing power forward when Caleb was injured, or someone else was in foul trouble. He has grown as a player, both defensively and offensively. He became a threat from behind the arc and often led the floor in the fast break. Love having Kyle on his team since he does whatever he's asked of him. Torn Wilcox, great job, great job, Kyle. Torn Wilcox. Torn had a tough task of having his father as a coach 
He has become a, a better athlete through his efforts this season, losing weight and increasing his strength. Those are his words, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> fundamentally sound, always, fundamentally sound, always new. I knew I could count on Torn to play sound defense and get rebounds when needed. However, he also had a few moves that are part of our team's highlight reel that showed his potential offensive ability. More basketball, less baseball. <laughs> Torn is one of the toughest kids. I had no problem. He would step up. He'd take guys that were six inches taller than him, take them on, work underneath in the paint. Truly phenomenal job, Torn. Thanks. Caleb Arena. Uh, every team, and, I, and what Coach says here, I, I agree 100%. Every team needs a Caleb. He does all the dirty work, receives very little of the glory, and yet has a, a constant smile on his face. He probably averages close to a double-double, including numerous 20, bound re 20 rebound games. He also has one of the in our inside enforcers, Caleb, has some of the most intimidating block shots. He hustles his butt out there, and he's a great teammate. Great job, Caleb. Um, Jimmy Smith, another self-appointed shooting specialist. Jimmy was our pleasure to have on this team. He was always putting team first. His best game may have been against Southtown in the league, which included some key shots, which led us to a two-point victory. That was, a, that was an awesome game that you guys played with only six. It was a su super job. That, that was a tournament they, they, they went 4-0. Uh, Jacob Shatters. I feel more than anyone else, this has been a season of growth for Jacob. He has been known as a shooter for years. This year I saw him making huge strides up defensively and, becoming, and in becoming a, good, a very good passer. Uh, I, I will add to Jacob, your, your, your vision of the court, your ability to become a playmaker this season was a true um, benefit to the team. And I look forward, as always, to, to watching you play. Um, Nathan Straw, uh, from Coach Wilcox. Nathan was our leader this year. How Nathan played, we played. He was, he was, our, he was our center, but oftentimes he, he also became one of our better ball handlers against the press and or in clutch time. Um, I know at the beginning of the season, <laughs> Nathan was kind of like, what, what are you doing on the bench? What are you doing there? Uh, I think it worked out pretty good. I, I want to say that uh, watching you play over these years and watching you grow and develop, as with everyone on the team, it's just been a true pleasure. And uh, I, want to, I want to just end by saying, uh, great job, guys. Keep working hard. I can't wait to watch you guys playing uh, in the years to come. Thanks.